Hi, it's Sarah with House Copper. Today we're going to do a, a quick video. It's actually based on a request I've received on how exactly one fries an egg in tin line copper. And uh, I wanted to do this because frying and grilling and sauteing and high, high heat things like that are generally not what I recommend for tin line copper cookware. Um, primarily because usually those situations, um, like, like searing a steak, a steak, for instance, you have a, a very small amount of food in a much bigger piece. And so what happens is you'll start to see the tin lining get really sparkly and start to melt or bubble all along the radius of the pan and kind of work its way down and up the side, down through the base and up the sides. And so that happens when you're grilling or you're searing or you're um, frying in, um, in, in, in tin line copper. And, and part of that too is the oil seems to hold heat um, in these situations. Not only do you not have enough food matter in the pan, but you also don't have, uh, you don't have as much control over how hot the tin is getting because of the oil holding the heat a lot longer. So it just creates kind of this double you know, storm of problems. However, in tin line copper, you don't need as high a heat as you would normally in other pans. Uh, just because of that, that very fast conductivity, um, and so you need much less heat for a much shorter time than you might think. And so you are standing over the pan because it's gonna get ready fast. You don't need a lot of oil or butter because um, tin is naturally not nonstick. But I usually do put something in the pan to help with the just the egg, but uh, it, it really doesn't take a lot of heat. It's quite low and it's quite quick. So I'm gonna do that now in a tin-lined fry pan that you have seen me ruin and I have since retinned and used on this channel. And uh, you'll get to see, I'm gonna do this in real time. I'm not gonna speed it up. And you're gonna see what it takes to fry an egg in tin-lined copper.
All right, so as you can see, that's what it takes to um, fry an egg in tin line copper. You're using very little heat for not very long before you see results. And you, you essentially, until you truly understand your stove and your pan and how they react together and work together, you really want to stand over the, the pan the entire time just to watch and just to learn and get a feel for it. And you might have to do that a dozen times before it feels, you know, old hat, you can leave it and you know you're not gonna actually ruin your tin. But uh, if you have any questions about this or other cooking things, um, I obviously always do a lot on coppersmithing, but I thought I'd change it up with a few more things in the kitchen this part of the year, since it's so chilly and being in the, uh, in the in the shop every once in a while, like my feet get really cold and it's like, oh my gosh, standing on cement for that long. Um, but anyway, if you have any thoughts or questions of your own, please put them below. Find Copper, Iron, and Clay wherever books are sold. Subscribe. Find me on Twitter, um, or not Twitter. Don't go there for House Copper. Go to Instagram and go to Facebook for House Copper and find me there. Um, otherwise, check out the website and you can send me emails through that. And I will look forward to hearing from you on any of those platforms. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.